Hi, I'm Christy at One Fun Mom, and on Sunday nights our family eats popcorn for dinner. And it's come to my attention that maybe not everybody knows how to make popcorn on the stove. So I'm going to show you how to do it. What I do is I cut out about a quarter cup of butter, cut it into four pieces so that it melts quickly in the pot. And this is our three-quart popper, or also known as a three-quart pan. <laughs> and first we'll put the heat on. We put the heat to about, I do it eight on my stove, just medium-high. You want it to be warm enough to where your popcorn pops quickly. So you turn it on and then you pour in your oil. This is three tablespoons of oil for a three-quart popper. Pour it in there and it just coats the bottom. A little, you can see it's just coating the bottom. You can turn this right on. And then you're going to do test kernels. So you'll put about three, three or four kernels of popcorn in the pan. And you'll shake it to get them all coated with oil. So shake the pan. You can do it on the stove. That's kind of noisy, so we shake it off the stove. And you'll put your lid on because you want to keep the heat in there and you don't want popcorn popping all over your kitchen. So you shake it again and then you just wait. And then once they pop, you know that it's hot enough to pop that popcorn really quickly. Okay, we just heard some of the kernels popping. There we go. That was the last kernel. You want to Look in there. So you've got the test kernels popped. This is about a half a cup of popcorn kernels. We'll add those. Start shaking. They're going to start popping pretty quick. So you'll add your butter quarters. Give them time to melt. And you'll cover it up and then you'll shake it. And you'll wait and shake it again. When you add the butter in there, you want it to get to melt and coat the kernels, and then they'll start popping. The butter brings the heat temperature down just a little bit, so you have to wait a little longer. Now you can really hear them going. You can see it. And if you want to keep it popping, it slows down. They're two to three seconds apart. The pops are two to three seconds apart. But to get this, you want to empty out some. Empty some out, and then they're still popping pretty quick. You put it back on the pot, on the stove. Now you hear them slowing down a little bit. If you leave them on now for too long, it'll start to burn. So about this time, you want to take it off. And just pour it in. And there you go. Today, since so I'm feeling extra fun, I like to put M&Ms in the popcorn, so I do it like this. And then the kids don't always know it's in there, so they get a little surprise in their popcorn.